Okay, so today we're going to be making sort of a mid-sized plate and how to go about doing that. So the first thing, I get my ball of clay, put it in there, tap it down, and I just move it back and forth a little bit, okay? I like to do a little bit of wheel wedging here, so I'll do this about three times. Up and down. Right, we'll do it another time here. Okay, so here's the key to a plate. Plate is, I like to get this ball of clay and it to be relatively wide. So I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to lock these two guys together like this. And I'm just going to push down and just kind of go like that. That's the motion I'm going to try to make. So I go like this. I take my thumb. Again, it's like this. And we're going to just push that. And stretch it out. All right. Now, I'm still leaving this relatively thick like this. And the main reason for that is I'd like to have a really nice foot on there. I'm going to take my S12 rib. I'm going to hold it on this 45-degree angle and just kind of flatten this out. All right. This gets any rid of any air bubbles, and that compression makes a big difference. Okay, by me simply applying some pressure, look at how nice that looks, right? All right. So now we got this nice and wide. It's a little thick like this. I'm just gonna pull this outside. So here's what I end up doing, and everybody throws plates a little bit different. Um, but what I like to do is I take my outside hand and I go like this. I kind of sweep it. So I'm literally just pulling this part up from the outside. I'm not digging in here. If I dig in here, I may have a little bit of a divot. So I'm just cheating by bringing this rim up. So I'm going to take my thumb, push it in. This is going to come up. See how I did that? See that? Now... Add a little water, and now I'm going to pull it straight up. Straight up. All right. It's kind of like a pie plate. I'm going to do this again. Now, it does look like a pie plate, right? But I'm going to drop this down. But before I do that, I want to get my wooden rib, and I'm going to go ahead and just make that little line. I'm going to make myself a lot, my life a lot easier for when I wire a cut by creating this little area. Um, in which the, uh, the wire tool is going to go in after I'm finished. The other reason I do it this way is by holding it like this, keeping it in center, no matter what is happening up top here, when I flip it over and I want to go ahead and trim it, I'll always start from that point. And because that point isn't moving, um, I know that uh, that's going to be the true center. All right, so here's the finishing move. It's easy. It's going to happen real fast. So I've got the pie plate, right? We're going to add a little bit of water. And now I'm going to take my, my S12 rib, which I love, by the way, and I'm just going to lay it flat like this. All right? This is going to happen real fast. Everybody ready for this? Okay. And then we're just going to go like this. And there is... You like that? like that. You like that. And there's your plate. Now, one other little trick for a plate is when you cut it, all right? When you cut it, a lot of times people do it like this, and maybe your splash pans get in the way. So I always like to elevate it and then get the wire brush underneath. So I'll take this, pick this up, all right, put it right over here, get it up on my water bucket, and then I'm going to run this, and I'm going to put these guys down below and then just run it through, all right? And that, that's gonna be your plate. Thanks a lot.